Hey, let me let me encourage you today. And let me remind you that you carry the help, the answer, and the solution to so many people. Even when you need help ministered to and you need for somebody to pray for you, a lot of times the answers or the miracles that come your way will usually happen and come to you when you're helping another, even in the same need, possibly as you. So be reminded today that sometimes in your assistance through serving another and God using you, sometimes will bring to you a miracle that, that you didn't even know was going to come in a certain type of way. See, but when you do that and you help somebody get their miracle or you help somebody in their situation and get their strength back and maybe they've had a tough season maybe they've had the the wind literally knocked out of their out of their sails and they feel stagnant they feel like they're not in motion and they feel as if it's over but you come their way and you encourage them you say hey you were on my heart today i love you be encouraged today don't give up don't throw in the towel god's plan still remains and he's not done with you yet and a lot of times those acts of kindness and those moments of you passing by by the prompting of the holy spirit by a simple prayer, by an encouraging word, or just you making a call or texting somebody and letting them know, listen, I hear you. I'm with you. I'm praying for you. Stay in there because God, in a moment's time, even sometimes when we are so desiring and needing the Lord to move, sometimes it's in those moments that we don't feel nothing. Sometimes it's in those moments when it doesn't, it, it feels it's like, you know, who t- who's got the water hose crimped who who shut off the flow see you're going to have times and moments like that see but that's why when brothers and sisters get a prompting or get a nudge in their heart you know to check in on you to encourage you and to pray for you and to you know hey you know uh, let's have a coffee or let's meet for lunch or you know hey you know uh, meet me in church and you know let's sit together or whatever that looks like or i'll see you at that conference i'll see you at that meeting whatever that looks like just be available and and when the when the spirit of god prompts upon your heart to contact somebody to text somebody to call somebody to go over somebody's house to make somebody a meal to pay for somebody's groceries whatever that looks like for you in that moment even when you need it for you be available to make it possible for another and watch and see how god in turn begins to move in and upon you and i know it seems strange right it's like you know what (laughs) but i'm in need of a miracle you know i need that for me right now and i get it and we all sometimes are, are sitting and standing in that moment but brothers and sisters sometimes there's something supernatural that happens when we give of ourselves even when we don't have anything to give when when we think that we don't but in reality is in the moments that god will use you is God will use you even even in the pressure and the pain or even in the disappointments or even, in, you know, when you're standing in need of a miracle. Sometimes is when God will use even the uh, the um, the sensitivity of your heart to flow through because it's so raw and, and sensitive, but yet pure to speak unto that situation for your brothers and sisters to 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 let them know God's not done. He has a plan. Stay in there. He's not done yet. And the miracle literally can happen at any moment. Your breakthrough can literally happen at any moment. So don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. And I know I know you've been discouraged and I know that you feel the pain and I know that you feel pressure. We all do, brothers and sisters. We all have to press through things. We all have to endure things. We all have to, you know, even encourage ourselves in the Lord. Thank God we have the Holy Ghost to comfort us and to uh, help train us and teach us, you know, to, to, to remain strengthened, to lean in G, to lean into him, pointing our hearts to Jesus, to keep our lives and our focus and our gaze in and upon the one that is the lover of our souls. Amen. So be available for your brothers and sisters and encourage them today, brothers and sisters. You don't know who needs just a text. You don't know who needs just, you know what? It's so good to hear your voice. Thank you so much. You know, 
I, I wasn't I wasn't anticipating nor was I expecting anybody to call I wasn't I wasn't anticipating or expecting anyone to pray uh, or whatever it is that in that moment you very well could be the answer to their prayer of what it is they're praying silently that the tugging of the Holy Spirit gets your attention silently and begins to draw you to be obedient to needing that meeting that need of your brother and sister of what it is the Lord is leading you to. So be available. Be available for your brothers and sisters, okay? And be available for your family. Spend time with your children. Spend time with your husbands and with your wives. You know, let them know how thankful you are to have to have uh, them in your life and for the blessings that they truly are. Amen. Come on, y'all. Be thankful and let the Lord use you. And let the Lord sometimes even inconvenience you so that his glory will flow through you. Sometimes for a miracle to get to that person that's been praying, praying silently for you to come their way. Be blessed in Jesus' name.